This is a moderately complicated plot that comes from the IPCC, and we're going to look at a few things here. This is not much CO2 in the future relative to what's possible, and so you see how much warming might occur for the global average out to 2020 to 29, that, that decade, and how much warming might occur out to 2090 to 2099 in degrees Celsius, which are listed along the bottom here. And then these maps correspond here on the right to the, the warming from 2020 to 2029, the average of that decade, and what you expect late in the, the century that we're in now for this low emissions. And then here's the same thing for somewhat higher emissions of CO2, more warming. And here's one where we really keep burning like crazy. I'm just going to walk you through that when all of them show about the same thing, but we'll start down there. First thing to notice is that these are how much warming is possible by late in the century here. And they show probabilities. The highest point is the most likely, and then there's a slight chance of having low values like this or low values like this. What I hope you notice is that the warming could be a little bit less, or it could be a little bit more. Very, very unlikely to be a lot less, but it is possible to be a lot more. And so there's a, there's a lopsidedness in this. And if the scientists are wrong about what's most likely, then it's more likely that we'll get more warming. More likely, more warming than what people have been telling you. Okay, that's important first. Second thing, the average warming here is just over 3 degrees Celsius, which is sort of this color, which is what you get out here in the ocean. Most of the world is ocean. The global average is not what happens on land where we live, it's what happens primarily in the ocean. What you will notice is that all of the colors over here tend to be darker in red colors than what's in the ocean when you go up on land. Almost everyone on the planet gets above average warming because the land warms more than the ocean, and almost everyone lives on the land rather than in the ocean. So when people tell you the global average warming they expect, in some sense that's very optimistic, because it's the low end of what's possible, and it's mostly telling you what's happening where people don't live rather than where people do live.